but the rain was finally letting up. Last night felt like a blindside punch to the face. I didn't think having Taylor walking out of my office could be so painful. There's just something reassuring and comfortable about her, but I've got way too many questions, yearnings, and guilt not to find out what happened to Chelsea. Even if it kills me, I've got to know. There's something darker than the night I'm dealing with, and it hinges on what happened that evening seven years ago with her. As Taylor leaves, she hands me the key to a room at the Ritz. She calls the Chelsea Shrine Room. You have a fax. You have a fax. Looks like Ar it Looks like Archie's back in town. I should check out his three carts to midnight shop and see if he knows anything. What can I do for you, Mife? Uh, I know you was having bad dreams way back when. Uh, but I didn't hear nothing else about them after, you know, the thing with Chelsea happened. Archie Ellis is my herbal tea-loving, source-for-all-things, alien, supernatural, conspiracy theorist. Or he's just plain crazy. He ran into some trouble with the NSA on my last case. Last I knew, he was hiding out in some tropical locale with a bevy of beauties. I'm surprised he's back in town. How you doing? You, you okay? I, I heard you were having some kind of amnesia. You, you know, most alien abductees always have some sort of memory loss. <laughs> yeah, well, that didn't happen. Last I saw you, you were on some tropical island hiding out from the NSA. Okay, like I told you before, I wasn't hiding. I was relaxed. So, and of course, you don't even remember talking to me, do you? <laughs> uh, let me see where you got hit. <gasps> Yowza! You really back off, man, because I swear I will shoot the next person who tries to touch this, okay? Okay, I'm sorry. Ouch. Whew. So, I guess you do need some catching up then. <laughs> A few months ago, I moved back here from the islands, and I opened up this place. And I was hoping that you and I could hang out together like old times, but you haven't been around much. Yeah. So, did I happen to tell you anything about the case I'm working on? Not yet, but you know I'm always ready to be Robin to your Batman. <laughs> uh, without the homoerotic undertones, of course. Sorry, Arch, but it's a package deal. If you're going to be in this with me, you're going to have to be in all the way. <laughs> you, you, you had me going there, Murph. <laughs> okay, Boy Wonder, I need you to enter two names into the Bat computer. Mason Bowers, Margaret Leonard. Well, I don't know about Mason Bowers, but Margaret Leonard? She's connected to one of the greatest mysteries of all time. I mean... You know who uh, Nikola Tesla was, right? Nikola! The cough drop? Nikola Tesla was a genius. Probably one of the greatest geniuses ever. I mean, it was Tesla, not Marconi, who was the true inventor of the radio. He invented a, a Tesla coil, the AC electricity, remote control. He even pioneered cryogenics. So are you almost to the part about Margaret Leonard? Right. Well, uh, Tesla died in 1943 when the FBI uh, just swooped in and confiscated all his papers and designs. Then in about 2012, all this stuff, the, the Tesla cash just disappeared. <laughs> and you want to know who the number one suspect was? 
Margaret Leonard. No, an FBI agent named Charles Johansson. Now, I know they could never prove that he did it, but then he quits the FBI and joins some Tesla fanatic group called the Tesla Legacy Society, a group dedicated to making the world better through technology. And that's where he meets... Margaret Leonard. Bingo! <laughs> they fall in love, they get married. I think they even had a kid together. So where's Margaret now? Uh, not a clue. Johansson uh, died a couple years later, cancer, I think. And after that, Margaret just dropped out of circulation. So all this happened, what, 30, 37 years ago, I mean... No one's found the Tesla cash since then? It's one of the great mysteries. The lost inventions of Nikola Tesla. What's the big deal with the Tesla inventions? I mean, there must be some reason they were never made. Oh, you ever hear of a little thing called Tunguska? <sighs> Have I ever. Picked up a bad case when I was down in Mexico. It's where I learned the phrase, Baños, rapidos, andale muchachos, vamonos. Oh, oh, Murph, you're too funny. You know, in 1890s, Tesla conducted an experiment and created a resonance frequency. You know, like a big vibration, and it nearly took out a whole chunk of New York City. And then in the 1900s, he began to work on what he called a teleforce beam. The press called it, you know, a death ray, you know, cooler name. But a few years later in Russia, remote area called Tunguska, something caused an explosion a thousand times greater than the atomic bomb. A thousand times greater than the atomic bomb 40 years before we invented it? But that was the last anyone ever heard of the death ray. Tesla never got funding. Instead, they made him out to be some crackpot and he was broke for the rest of his life. Some people think the plans for it were part of the Tesla cash. Just think how much someone would pay to get their hands on that. And I'll never forget what you did tipping me off before that whack job NSA guy could get me. <laughs> Seems nice. You know me, Murph. Always up for an adventure, as long as I don't have to go anywhere. You like my shop? <laughs> kind of like my old one, the Cosmic Connection. But I had to change the name in case, you know, the, the NSA and all that. I eat at the brew and stew all the time. I actually wouldn't mind forgetting a few years of my own life, mostly my teenage years. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's the hollow babe at the Golden Gate. Yeah, Mojo is warm for her form, or lack thereof, as it were. <laughs> My little buddy Mojo works over there. <laughs> we hang out a lot, but I can't stay there too long. Something makes my eyeballs burn. He's not very friendly, is he? Gosh, you'd think a sidekick would be a little more helpful, huh? Don't know about that. Donnelly's kind of a mysterious character. He was a private detective Tesla may have hired not long before he died. There's a mention of it in one of Tesla's letters. No, both aliens and ghosts can communicate through their dreams. It's a proven fact. I've been checking my sources, but no one's heard a thing about her in years. He died like 40 years ago and either left the Tesla cash with Margaret Leonard or somebody else, or he took it to the grave. The Tesla cash is right up there for me. Oh, and the death ray? Well, the name says it all, doesn't it? As I leave, Archie hands me an old photograph of Margaret Leonard. Maybe someone else on Chandler will recognize her from the picture. <laughs>